Hello, everybody. This is Mithril Zenith. Last time we just cleared fire and water. Yes, it says eight turns, but that was like six minutes. Now let's do almost home. Chapter 10. There are 10 levels to the shelter, and they're all clear. How about the medical facilities? Medical bays in D Block Sector 1, sir. It's filled with antiviral medicines and the latest medical equipment. The government spared no expense in its preparations to safeguard the political elite. I hear you, Lynn. Now let's get Isabel and the rest of the civilians in here, on the double. Right away, sir. Captain, the rear guard's under attack. Looks like those raiders are back again. What? Does someone want to explain how they snuck up on us? I don't know, sir. They, they didn't appear on our radar. That's just great. What are you standing around for? Let's move. Raiders appearing out of nowhere, not, not appearing on radar. And from last chapter, if you'll remember, the beast didn't know how he got there. He just woke up and had all sorts of tanks and copters and everything. I wonder if someone's pulling the strings. Ooh. This is Raiders. We're done for. They'll kill us all. Calm down. Calm down. Just follow the evacuation procedures you practiced. Do as you're told. You'll get out of this just fine. Uh, it's all right, Isabella. Try thinking of something pleasant. That should help. I'm stressed to think of my lab. Perhaps of my sprouts or robots. I'm okay. We never give up. Yes, of course, we must never give up. That's the key. Of course, some reinforcements would help raise the spirits, but... <laughs> yeah, he's going feral, isn't he? The raiders are closing in on civilians. They're going to attack. Yeah, civilians? You worried about them? <laughs> that settles it. Kill them all! Boy, that's a number one punk. Never care! Leave them alone. They're not soldiers. They're civilians! Doesn't matter. They're weak. They're defenseless. They're perfect prey, and that's why they're gonna bleed. Why? Why would you? I'm not letting you touch him. We're gonna stop you. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Do your worst. Yeah. Hey, let's go to the war room. It's Lynn and Isabella with today's tactical tip show. We rehearsed that, you know. Anyway, on with the strategy. First, have your frontline units fall back immediately. Strong units can build a defensive line near the central mountains. Oh, and keep an eye out for enemy aerial attacks. Use planes and anti-air units to keep them busy. Capture the airport and factory, then build indirect attack units and tanks. Once you have a good-sized force, strike for the east. And don't worry about the war tanks. Your bombers can take care of them. See you next time on the Tactical Tip Show! <laughs> that was really fun, Lynn. Let's do it again. Yep, and that's the war room for you. You have the shelter, it's just big block, not even air units can pass through it. They have a lot of air units, but they're too far away to do anything helpful. Uh, they have some air units, and they are a threat to our own. What was that range? Four between that. Three between that. Okay. We're gonna look right here, we'll be fine. And we can outrun them if needs be. And needs will be. Yep, so we have recon and infantry. Honestly, there's no chance to save them or really capture anything. This infantry is placed specifically so that this war tank will blow it up no matter where you move it. It's safer to just fall back like so. And let's move in. Capture the airport first. Return. Load up into the rig to get to that factory. Load up into the T copter. Also get to the factory. Move over here. There we go. That should do it. And as for what to build, eh, bike's probably good. Don't really need another T copter. And yeah, scripted event. This war tank will always one-shot this infantry. Ah, yes, yes, yes. First blood to the beast. Take them all. Don't die so easily. Don't let them die easily. No, get out of there. You read. You have to evacuate now. Dr. Morris, Isabella, please, someone answer me. You've got to get out of there. Hello? Is anyone there? <laughs> They're all dead, punk. Pretty little girlfriend, too. You couldn't save them. How's it taste? Burns, doesn't it? Why? Why'd you do that? There was no reason. Reasons? I don't need reasons. I kill because I can. Now I'm gonna kill the rest so I can hear you cry some more. How's that sound? Was that? I can't hear you. Come on, punk. Don't you have anything to say? I want to hear you beg. I want to kill you. Be 
threatening me, boy? You were right. I had no idea what war was really about. I get it now. It's about anger and fear. It's about hate. My friends weren't looking to fight. They were innocent. You want to live like a beast? Fine. You can die like one, too. <laughs> now we're talking punk. Now you're worth killing. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so what's the safe line? The airport is the safe line. Huh, interesting. There we go. And we'll move everyone over to that safe line. Safe from the fighter, at least. Um, that tank is... Got some problems, isn't it? Do I want my temp port? Oh, let's build it. Build it right there. I don't have any units that can threaten my missiles if I'm moving forward, do they? That doesn't look like it. Okay, if I build my infantry, that should be able to get into that. And then I want to build. Oh shoot. Just have to cover it like that. I want to build bombers. That's what I want to build this map. I need to take care of their aircraft right now. Then I'm going to build bombers. Uh, let's take them out. Bombers and rockets, actually. Weird, I always fall into these same habits. It's always bombers and rockets. Okay, so for this, I have that covered pretty well. We can't fall back, we can honestly. Start blasting that tank like so, and then finish it off with our own tank. Good use of Battlecopter. Chip damage. Uh, Anti-air unit is annoying though. We don't have medium tanks or war tanks available to us. So it really is just like rockets and bombers. Do we have enough for a bomber? Let's build one now. safe with you, so we'll just do that, I suppose. That anti-air unit is really annoying right now. Oh, I could have built that bomber closer. Whoops. Oh well, it happens. Stay back and guard that area. Splash, splash, splash. Yeah, this this AI is very defensive. Very defensive AI. I don't know why it's so defensive. I just know that it is. One fighter in the air, and suddenly everyone doesn't want to take two steps towards you. Supply 
going up. There's their fighter. There's their fighter. One square away from being able to... It's always about one square, isn't it? There's one square here, one square there. Battles won and lost on one square differences. aware of the range of that artillery. I think we're good to go. Move forward now. Make sure we build a tank here. Oh freaking heck! Not what I wanted to build. I did not need of all the things I don't need, I do not need another infantry here. It's totally pointless at this stage in the in the game. Maybe we give their fighter a little bait, it'll come out and play. Because that fighter is the only thing preventing me from just charging in there right now. Nope, nope, nope. He just wants to stay defensive. I mean, I guess I can't blame him, but also... It's a bit frustrating, to be honest. Like, here you are. You have one fighter and one duster that I'm worried about, and then some regular anti-airs. And what do you do? You just camp on them. I mean, I've got to say, it's probably what I would do in this situation. But still, not cool. Not cool, game AI. You're not allowed to be smarter than me. Or as smart as me. I might be able to kill here. Uh, highly unlikely. No. Not quite. But I can give the kill to the mechs, give them some veteran C. They'll do better with it than any of my other units, to be honest. That, that's, that's just asking for trouble. That's asking for total death. 1450 because I was an idiot and double clicked and built a freaking infantry when I didn't mean to. this way. If you want to have that easy KO, so be it. You will get it, and then you will pay for it with your life. Okay. I have no idea if I'm going to estimate this map. I probably won't, honestly. Probably gonna be pretty rough. Okay, well there we go. That duster is. Oh, is that? That's a T-copter with an infantry inside. Two for one with a missile. Missiles are so powerful in this game. Kind of makes up for the fact that they're like really easy, like really awkward to use. But using using missiles well gets you on a fast track to actually doing really well in this game, rank-wise. But single-player, at least. I have absolutely no experience with multiplayer. Do not uh, take my claims as evidence of ever playing multiplayer in this game. Ever. The only thing I can say is that I have in the past uh, S-ranked the entire single-player campaign of this before, and that's why I'm doing it again. Because I just wanted to. So there. I'll cover you with the duster. It's gonna die, but... At least they have nothing else that can damage that. Um... 
bomber. Actually, that anti-air might be able to. Yeah. That's kind of a problem. Drop you in. More tanks. One more bomber, and that should probably do it with the units we need to build. That should probably be it. Yeah. Not forgetting anyone. Nope. Now this will be an interesting turn. We're gonna lose a lot. Oh shoot! I didn't think about that. They didn't think about it either. They're an idiot. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness, that was almost very, very, very bad for me. They almost... They had an opportunity, a perfect opportunity to just yoink my bomber out of existence, but because my missile was covering it, they went around instead. Also because of the move AI decided to move the recon first and then the uh, fighter had nowhere to go. Can we blow this jerk up? Looks like we can. Hundreds. I don't have any other anti-air. Except from that one. I'm just gonna blow up this and then my fighter can fly around. There we go. This cripples them, this finishes them off. This tank comes in, deals quite the blow. I, be greedy. I shouldn't be greedy, but I want to be greedy. It's mechs versus recons. There we go. That's a kill. Yeah, I shouldn't be. Greedy. Probably could have killed it, but I didn't want to take the risk and be wrong and then lose because I was one point in power ranking behind where I needed to be. I need to build another anti air. I think I have him on the ropes, honestly. I think this is all I need to, to finish him out. Out the mission in the day. What are you standing on? That's just a plane. Is that the factory? No, it's an airport. That's the only factory they have. Cool. Yep, don't need to build anything else. Uh, we've got this one. Oh, they have two factories. Oh well, still. Anti-air, the grilled some anti-air, it's time to take down their anti-air. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-bow. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 89, that is not great odds, I have to say, but my fighter can't reach their uh, B-copters, so I'll just do this. Okay, no one's running out of ammo, are they? No, no, it doesn't look like it. Anti-air cannon is a bit low, but that's it. Let's blow up that war tank. Now, once I do that, the other units will have nothing to fear. Forty-three finish. Fifty-five and oh, I can't 
can't attack with two on the same round. Okay. Oh, you need to take that spot? Okay. I'll figure out another way to take this thing down. I think honestly the war tank, the anti-air is so much easier to kill in general. Yeah, th they are never going to recover from this. At this point it's just finishing off. Oh wow, they're actually smart. They attacked my fighter. With the assumption that without my fighter, I might not be able to take out their coffers. Now that assumption doesn't hold true because they flew into my missiles. But still, interesting to actually see some level of uh, thought and strategy come out of the AI here. Oh, come on. Yes, I do. Should use my rank 2 bombers. They would have been able to one-shot that thing. But no, I didn't, and now I'm sad. And that's game. Ugh, no! It seems my little experiment has come to an untimely end. Oh well. You've served your purpose well, my savage beast. I am quite satisfied. But you are no longer of any use to me. You may continue dying. Hello, is anyone there? Did anyone manage to survive? Hello? Hello? It's, it's no use. You're dead. I failed them all. Don't be so quick to bury us, Will. We're just lying low until we can be sure it was safe. Dr. Morris! What's time for lollygagging? I've got wounded coming out of my ears. And Isabella is failing poorly. And it's basically the end of a chapter, so we get different victory music. 135 speed, 138 power, 105 technique. A very solid S rank. Scene of the arc, so you get that awesome victory music. You must never give up hope. Wounded are in sick base, sir. The civilians came through largely unharmed. Where's Will? He's with Isabella. Her condition is deteriorating badly. She's hurt in the skirmish and the virus is continuing to develop. Will she make it? It's touch and go. She's in Dr. Morris's hands now. Come on, come on. It's taking so long. Will, you're still here? It's been hours. How is she, Doctor? Is Isabella alright? I'm sorry, Will. Just try and calm down, alright? don't know if I'm the right person to tell you this, but... Oh no. Please, Dr. Morris. It can't be. You can't. Listen, I... No. I don't have the words. I think I'll leave it to Isabella to tell you how she's made a full recovery. <laughs> no, that's a terrible joke. You're just playing with someone's emotions. That's awful. Will, Isabella. I'm going to be okay, Will. I owe it all to Dr. Morris's help and everyone's kindness. It's great news. It is, isn't it? You're a real piece of work, Doc. Why didn't you just tell the boy she was better? Come now, Captain. Where's the drama in that? You see the joy on Will's face? I felt like the director in one of those TV medical dramas. <laughs> Unbelievable. I assume Isabella's condition is no longer contagious. You may. The virus incorporated the nucleoside analogs into its genomes, halting its life. Stop it. Is she okay or isn't she? You are a most impatient man, Doctor. Captain. I did say Doctor. Yes, yes, she's fine. This is Doctor talking. Although I must confess I had my doubts there for a while. She was on the verge of death, and then something changed within her system. 
While I was recovering from my surprise, voila. I can offer you no explanation for it. Why not just call it a miracle? Sounds like me. Sounds to me like Will's prayers were answered. That's all the explanation I need right there. I'm a man of science, Captain. Miracles are not something I deal in. However, truth be told, I feel rather superfluous in that I truly did nothing to heal her. One thing I can say for certain is that she's cured, so hip hip hurrah. Where have, where have you been, Brenna? I've been waiting here to report for you for hours. You report for hours. Calm down, everything's fine. The girl made a full recovery. The girl? Who said anything about her? I want to know about the food. Is the factory in working order? Will we be able to grow crops? Yes, that's what I've been told. We'll be happy to learn you don't need to worry about food anymore. That is good news. Now we've got some additional business to attend to. As the civilian representative, there's something I need to discuss with you. Go on. It's about the shelter. Do you think we can sustain this many people living here? We've assessed the situation and feel we need to cut our population roughly in half, as you can't be serious. Do you realize how big this place is? There's more than enough room for all of us. Listen, Brenna. This is the collective opinion of the entire civilization, civilian population, understand? And having soldiers living here is problematic as well. How are we supposed to live in fear of being attacked? Is there a point to all this? We're soldiers. You have the weapons and the training to survive anywhere. We civilians are powerless. This shelter is our only chance for survival. We believe the solution is clear. Am I right, everyone? Shall we vote and decide this like civilized men? It's not a reasonable proposition. In terms of numbers, you civilians have an overwhelming majority. Additionally, a large number of our people are incapacitated by their wounds. Would you use that to your advantage? Is that the type of people we're dealing with? How disrespectful. I'm not trying to set up a dictatorship. This new world's built on democracy. One person, one vote. That's what I say. Or would you rather threaten us with your guns and bully us into submission? Okay, yeah. I'm comfortable with that. Stand down, then. Very well, then. We vote. Majority rules. Does that sound fair to everyone? All in favor of having soldiers leave the shelter, raise their hands. Come on. Let's see hands. I don't think so. Me either. What are you doing? Get your hands up. I give you the plan. Now do as I told you. But they fought for us. They risked their lives for us. Some of them died for us. We can't just throw them out of here. I want them to stay. I'll second that. You listening? You listening, Mayor? It would appear we have a clear majority. But how can... What are you thinking? Fine, do as you please. I don't care. Thank you, everyone. You have my gratitude. As you know, my people and I have been on the search and rescue 24-7 since the meteor struck. Most of us, most of the folks we saved didn't last too long after the fact. To be honest, there have been times when I've questioned the value of what we're doing. But knowing that, you understand, it makes it all worthwhile. Thank you. Well said, Captain. So we're gonna stay here for a while. There's plenty of food and there's safety in numbers. We can stay here together? Me too? I, I had nothing. I didn't know where I was or what I should do. I didn't even know my own name. And you took me in and cared for me, and now you say I can live here with you. Are you sure? Is it truly all right? Of course. Now that you recover from the virus, I'm sure you'll get, mem get your memory back. Perhaps. I really don't need my memory back. I'm fine not knowing what happened before. Really. But you've given me all the memories I need. Aww. I'll never forget the kindness you've shown. Isabella, listen. I want to... Uh, Lieutenant, are you... Lynn? Hello? Yes. <laughs> How do you do that? Why are you eavesdropping on a conversation? Are you talking about something you don't want me to hear? Well, no, but that's not the point. It was a private conversation and whatever. Captain Brenner sent me. We're to report to A Block immediately. If we're going to be living here, we need a set of rules and regulations. Fine. We'll be right there. Come on, Isabel, it's time to go. Yes, sir. Yay, everyone's happy. Unfortunately, that's not the end of the story, because next chapter, something else happens. But we'll get to that later. Um, next time, join us next time for World Peaks, and then the time after that for Chapter 11, A Storm Brews. Thank you so much for watching. This is Mythosana signing out. Have a great day, everyone.